Welcome to the next lecture on the course introduction to R software. You may recall that in the earlier two lectures we had uh, talked about uh, how to manipulate the outcome in terms of display, how the outcome should look like and uh, then we had discussed several commands. One was print and another was cat. Now we will try to continue on the same lines and we will try to learn another function that is called as paste function. Paste function also helps in manipulating the display outcome. So we try to understand what is this. This paste function concatenates several strings together and this function creates a new string just by joining all the given string from end to end. But if you try to recall, the same thing was being done by the cat function also, then what is the difference between the two? This is the main difference. The results of paste function can be assigned to a variable and that was not possible in cat function. That is the major difference between the two. The syntax and other details of the paste functions are as like this that we try to write down here paste. Then whatever we want to paste here, that will come, come here. And then how the strings are going to be separated. That symbol or say anything whatever you want, this has to be given here inside the double quotes. And uh, then there is another function here, collapse and this also has a role that we will try to see with the applications. And uh, after you have pasted certain strings, then in case if you want to change the line, then we try to give the command say backslash n inside the double quotes, that means we want here a new line. Okay, so let us now try to take some uh, say examples, but before that if you want to learn more about this paste function, I will say take the help from the R. And you can see here that it comes to the website of the R software and here it gives you all the details. Yeah, you can see here this collapse is given here that it is an optional characteristic to separate the results, right. So all these details are here. I would request you that if you want to understand it more, uh, please try to read it. And I would like to take here several examples to explain you the usage of paste function. Now let me take here several example to explain the use of this paste function. For example, if you try to see here, I have taken a, an example where there are three strings. One that is everybody, second string loves and third strings characters are programming. And what we want, I want to write everybody loves are programming. So for that I can use here a function here paste and inside the arguments, inside the brackets I have to give all these strings which are separated by the commas. And here is the outcome that you can see over here. Everybody loves R programming. Now here you can see that the separation between two words or two strings, this is only here a blank space. So in case if you choose the default choice for the separation between two strings, then R chooses as blank space. But suppose you want a different separator. For example, I want to have a separator say star. So let me take here the same example, paste 
and the three strings everybody loves and are programming. And I try to write here one more option here, sep equal to double quotes and then star, sep means separator. Now if you try to see the outcome, the outcome will come like this. The same outcome everybody loves R programming, but the separation between two strings is being done by say star. And similarly to understand it better, suppose I want to have a separator which is 3 equality signs. So you can see here I try to give it here and this is the same, same as earlier, no change. Now you see the outcome comes like this, everybody first string, love second string, R programming third string and they are separated by the symbol 3 equality signs. Now let us try to see that what happens when we try to execute these uh, functions over the R console. And you can see here when I try to type the same command it gives me the same thing and here you can see that the three strings everybody loves and are programming they are separated by the blank space. Now I want to change the space and I want to give here a space by star. So I try to use here the command this separator or say sep is equal to say star and we get here this outcome where all the separators are say star here you can see. And similarly if I want to change this separator by this say here, say here 3 equality signs we can do it here by like this and even want to have here something here more whatever you want to do say if I say here and then you can see here this is and. So whatever you want to do you can play with this paste function to get an required to get the required outcome. So now let us come back to our slides and you can see here this is the screenshot of whatever we had obtained in this outcome. Now let me take here another example and try to explore a situation where I want to paste the strings with certain vector. That means I have got for example a list of students and I want to write that this student is excellent. What I want that R command should go to my list that is containing the names of the students and it should pick one name at a time and after every name the outcome should be that the student name whatever is picked is a good student. So we are trying to use the paste function using vector and we are trying to paste some characters with each of the element in the vector. So let me take here this example. So now if you see what we want, we have some number of values which are assigned to a vector. So the vector is containing all the values and I want to paste a string with each and every element in that vector. So let us try to take an example and try to understand how it can be done. So we have taken here three strings, they are the three names, Professor Singh, Mr. Venkat and Dr. Jha and I have stored these three names as a string in this vector called as here say names using the C command. And now I am using here a paste function and my objective is that that I want to write 
Professor Singh is a good person, Mr. Venkat is a good person and Dr. Jha is a good person. So, what I do here that I try to write down my here names variable vector here and then I write here is a good person and this is my string number 1, this is my string number 2 and this is my string number 3. Now, once I try to execute it, we get here this type of outcome. First, we try to understand what is this outcome and how it is coming. You can see here, it is writing Professor Singh and then is a good person. This Professor Singh is coming from here, the first element in my vector names and then is a good person, this is coming from is from here, a good from here and a person from here and finally, it is giving me the complete sentence, Professor Singh is a good person. Now, in the next command, the R automatically goes to the second string which is here Mr. Venkat. It chooses Mr. Venkat and it writes is a good person just by repeating the same string is a good person. Then in the next step, the control of R goes to the third string which is here Dr. Jha. The Dr. Jha is my string number 3 and it goes to the third element in my vector names and pick up Dr. Jha and then pick up is a good person from the given string. So, you can see here we have got here 1, 2 and 3 outcomes. Similarly, if you have more, you can do it yourself. So, now let us try to do this example on the R console. So, I try to create here a vector here, say here names and then I use my here paste function and you can see here we get this outcome. How we come back to our slides and try to make this example little bit more useful and for that, I am going to introduce here a new function collapse. What do you really mean by this word collapse? This is something like if you have stacked several things one over other, 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on and if you say these things are collapsing, lap just like this and the entire string which are given is string 1, is string 2, is string 3, they will collapse and then they will be written in a single line. That is what is the meaning, literal meaning of this word. And then there can be a separation also. So, first we try to understand what is the role of this function collapse. So, now if your objective is that instead of writing three statements what we did in the earlier case that we have got three statements you can see over here 1, 2 and 3. But now I want to write all these three strings or three statements in a sequence statement number here 1 statement number here 2 and statement number here 3. This is here Professor Singh is a good person followed by Mr. Venkat is a good person and followed by Dr. Jha is a good person, but in a single line not in three lines. So, for that I can use the function collapse. This is a function which joins the combination into one big string and it uses inside itself the paste function and it instructs that please 
concatenate all the strings together by a given separator. So, let me take here the same example where I have three names Professor Singh, Mr. Venkat and Dr. Jha and these three names are contained in a vector names and now I am using here the same command as earlier which is the paste names is a good person, but I am adding here one more option which is collapse and then I am saying that this comma and and is the separator. Now, once you do this thing you will get here this type of outcome. You can see here there is only one line Professor Singh is a good person and this comma this is coming from here this collapse. Mr. Venkat is a good person then comma and and this is again coming from this separator Dr. Jha is a good person. So, you can see now the difference between the earlier outcome where you had three lines outcome and now you have here one line outcome. Let us try to see over the R console and see the outcome. So, you can see here that here there are three statements which are highlighted here, but here when you try to use here the separator this collapse and then you can see here that we have got here one single sentence which is here starting from here 1 Professor Singh is a good person, Mr. Venkat is a good person and followed by and Dr. Jha is a good person. Well, since this statement is very long, so it is going beyond the screen of the computer, but the outcome is the same. Okay. So, now let us come back to our slide. and uh, here is the screenshot of this outcome. Well, here it is giving a dollar sign which is indicating that the outcome is continuing beyond the screen. So, that is here like this. Okay. Now, let me take some more example which are similar to this example just to make you more confident. I am using here a paste function in which I have got here one string say exercise and briefly I am writing at e x this is a character and then I am writing here a sequence 1 to 5 there are 5 numbers here 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 and then I am using here a separator which is underscore. Now, first we try to look at the outcome and then I will try to explain you what is happening. If you see the outcome, this is like here like this. So, if you try to see what is really happening, that exercise is going to the first element 1 and it uses this separator underscore. So, this, this comes over here and this number 1 comes over here and this separator comes over here and we get this type of outcome exercise or say e x underscore 1. After completing the first iteration the control repeats to the number of times the number of elements in the vector 1 to 5. In the second shot this e x comes to the second element here 2 and it prints here e x underscore 2 using the separator underscore and this process goes here exercise 3, exercise 4 and exercise 5. So, essentially what I am doing that I have now here one single string, but the numbers which are to be repeated are some numbers they are numerics. Earlier what we had done that we had a vector of, of 3 characters and then we had joined those, those characters with us with say another variable and those variables were characters, but now this is a combination of a string with a numerical vector. 
Now, in case if you call any particular element that is possible here, for example, I have stored these values inside the vector x. So, if we want to call the first element, this can be called here by x and inside a square bracket that you have to keep in mind, not the arguments, no, not the this type of bracket. And then you have to write down the number which you want to call. Suppose I want to call the first element, this is coming here, the second element is coming here and similarly you will see here the fifth element is coming from here. Let us try to do this over the R console and see what do we obtain. So, I try to write down here x. So, let us try to have this outcome over here x and now if you try to see here, what is here x? Sorry, x, this is here like this. And now, if you want to call any particular number, you have to write, if you want to call first number inside the square bracket, you have to write x1, you get first value. Similarly, if you want to call the second value, you have to write here x2, you, you get here the second value. And similarly, if you want to call the suppose fifth, suppose the fifth value, this is x5 and this is the fifth element in this outcome. So, here you have an option that you can also call a particular input from this vector, just like any other usual vector. So, now let us come back to our slides and try to see other things. Well, this is the screenshot of the same outcome. And now I am going to use the parameter collapse with this operation and let us, let us try to see what happens. Now, if you try to see what is really happening in this outcome, you can see here there are 5 values which are separated by this blank space, right. And when I want that all these 5 values should not be separated, but they must, but they must collapse. That means, I want to remove the spacing between these 5 values and if you try to see here, I am using the same command here that paste exercise 1 to 5 and separator here this underscore. So, this is going to give me a value like exercise underscore 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, but now I am using here the collapse where there is no symbol here, no blank sign, there is no blank sign here. And as soon as you say enter, you get here this type of thing. So, you can see here this is only here one single value which is continuously giving you all the outcomes. So, let us try to see the use of this collapse here. Now, you can see here this here x. So, you can see the difference between this earlier output without collapse and this output with collapse. Let us try to say play with this thing and try to see if I try to put here a star, say double star as a collapse, then what happens? You can see here that the blank space has been changed by 2 stars, but there is no separation. I mean the separation is being now controlled by this double star. So, now it depends on you whatever is your need and based on that you can have an outcome. In order to make it more clear and to give you a better understanding, let me try to have both these options together on this screenshot. So, if you try to look at uh, this slide, here I am using this paste function and here I am using paste function with collapse and this and this they are exactly the same. 
Now if you try to look at this outcome, here you can see the outcome here is same like this and this is coming from the outcome of this one. But when I am using here say another option collapse, I am giving here no blank space. And the outcome of this is given over here. So, you can see here that now there is no blank space here, here and here and here and all these 5 values they are coming here as a single string like this one say only one. So, that is the basic difference between the use of this another option collapse. So, now we stop here and uh, once again I would request you to understand the use of paste function with different type of separators and say all options and try to create an output what you want to have and do some practice. And in the next lecture, we will continue with the some more operations on strings and we will try to learn some more options and functions. Till then, goodbye.